<laughs> hey everybody and welcome to our week six Big Brother Canada three. <laughs> week six, I'm sure. I'm very sure it's week six, Big Brother Canada three <laughs> recap. I am ex so excited. I am here as always with my Big Brother Canada partner in crime, John Richardson, but I am uber excited to be sitting here with the ginger ninja himself. Greg Merritt. I What's going on? I've been waiting How's for this. Doing? I Thank can't you for wait. having me. No problem. But before we start talking to Greg and getting through all the Big Brother <laughs> stuff, if you want to thumbs up this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, that would be fantastic. And you can find me on Twitter at dgoodyear1975. And say hi, John. Hi, John. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So excited. What a week. Um, the Big Brother house. So excited to talk to the Ginger Ninjas here, baby! Yeah, we are excited. You can follow me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter. Where can we find you on Twitter? The Ginger Ninja is uh, finally on Twitter for the first time in his entire life. Uh, never had any of this social media. Came home, signed on. You can find me at uh, bbcab 3 greg G-R-A-I-G. Hey. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Greg. You, I have to tell you, you were, you popped a cherry of mine. I was a telephone interview virgin until I interviewed you. Awesome, awesome. So you were my that, first telephone interview. That was a lot of fun. I haven't been a virgin in a long time. So. <laughs> I have no comment on that. Oh, Lord. Lord. So let's talk to Greg about his time in the house and... What happened? So for you, what was like the best and worst part of Big Brother? Oh, uh, the best part is just playing the game. It is like so crazy in there. And um, Zach Olenek said it right. I heard him say that you're thinking game 25 hours a day in the house, and that's absolutely how it is. So for me, just like I remember sitting in the hot tub many a times with Bruno, and we just looked at each other, and we were like, this is so fun, bro. Uh, that was like the best experience and the worst experience is when you're on the block and you know it's going to be your like uh, whole Big Brother experience is coming to an end. It's, uh, it's, it, it's a very bad experience. Oh, I know. So, you look so sad when you were on the block. I think what some of us viewers, because we've not been in the Big Brother house, kind of get confused. Like this week, we somewhere I'm going to jump around, so sorry, Dana. You can slide yeah, let's go. Um, oh, yeah. We saw Brittany kind of be a pawn on the block. But she kind of makes such a big deal, like, I'm on the block again. It doesn't seem that big to us, but I think maybe when you're in the house, because there's still a chance she could have gone home. You do not want to be in the block. You just don't know. It's still a big deal, right? Yo, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. You do not want to be on the block at any time. In that house, things can change in I literally, like, minutes, ten minutes. Um, it, there's someone else on, uh, being a target within hours of that house with one vote right now. Uh, Brittany could be out the door, and I have a grudge against Brittany. Brittany. A lot of the people, a lot of the people, <laughs> people the wrong name. That before all the live feed started. Started. Uh, Brittany came to me. She was like new to Big Brother, and um, she like was like, you have my back, I have your back. She came to me, and I was like, yes, definitely. Even though I didn't put her in the chop shop, I would have taken Brittany very far with me past the chop shop. I had her back, and for her to put me up week week three, whatever, amateur play. Were you shocked? Sarah, I know Sarah had a lot to do with it. Johnny put the cherry on top, you know, so it was just kind of kind of like how my game went with I was going after big, big targets from the start, trying to make big moves by getting Naya out of the house and Cindy out of the house. I know I had huge contributions in, in both of those. So I, for me, I went after uh, big targets too soon. So Brit, Brit, Brittany on the block is not a good situation for Brittany, though. No. Absolutely. Especially after what happened to Jordan, too. Like, I mean, right, right, right after that, you're like, Jordan just went home. <laughs> he wasn't supposed yeah. to go anywhere. So what surprised you? On it, you know, if Brittany gets through this one too, I think that'll be three weeks of her being on the block. That could be uh, some good ammo if she gets uh, into that into the final two or final oh, three yeah. this year. Who knows? Um, but if you get into the final two, um, she could have a lot of arguments on being on the block so much and and not getting voted out of the house. That could be like yeah, that, that's a, that's a good argument oh, in my book. 
Absolutely, and we've seen it in both Canada and U.S. So, Greg, you were so gracious when you were voted out and you were sitting next to Arissa and you were very sweet and genuine, which I loved, and I made a comment in our last show. Did Brittany surprise you how much game she had? Because you were yeah. kind of like, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, her right over here and yeah. tuck her in my pocket. Yeah. But For sure. she. Uh, I maybe, maybe I definitely did underestimate her game. Um she, I don't know. You have to know Brittany. She she's like up and down. She's like you know she can get those crazy eyes going at you. You know what I mean? Where Nea, I think Nea, I think Nea said I had some crazy eyes. Brittany Brittany on slot for three days. Oh. She, she see Brittany Brit, Brittany gets a little cray cray in there. But who who doesn't in that house? You know what I mean? But. Now you were uh, never on slop, she's were you? Smart. She's she she you know she's really smart and she's really yeah. she wants to go for it. She's a, you know she moved to New York City like she goes for it and it's awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's going for it in the game, and you know she's doing well. I just can't wait till she gets booted out. <laughs> you were never a have not though in the house, were you? Like you had a couple of days where you had slop for punishments and stuff, but you were never like never a week have solid. Not, no. So how bad is it? Like let's let's be real about. I I didn't here. think it was that bad at all. And I, I could eat it. You have syrup, you have cinnamon, you have wrinkled sugar. That's uh, he's that, an athlete. That's, he lives on protein powder. So I, that's all, you know that that's all that's all I need to put on that. And that's the thing. I would never eat any of that stuff in the real world. But in that house, you just you, you, there's cookies and chips, and you know you, you just eat it. You know what I mean? But the slop uh, for me, it wasn't that bad. Brittany won't eat it. Cindy would not eat it. There's like a couple other girls. I think that like Ashley was eating a lot of it. She 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 didn't mind it. She got it down, I think. But for us guys, I like Bobby didn't have a problem with it. I didn't have a problem with it. It's it, it, it this that's not too bad. I had it this morning. It looks the color of it looks worse than like the U.S. But now that you're saying it's syrup and cinnamon, oh, yeah. it sounds yeah. Yeah, you, you can you can. There's a oh, list of condiments that you're allowed to put on it. <laughs> we gotta acetate somehow. So let's yeah. talk about the shop shop. You were the mastermind of this huge alliance, kind of yeah. like a detonators bomb squad. For sure. Sixteen thing. What drew you to those five people? Like, I mean, I guess like Bruno, Bobby, and Zach were like your main guys, and then you kind of brought in a couple of girls. But like, what? Yeah. Brought, like, when you looked at Bruno, Bobby, and Zach, what? Mm -hmm. What what about them did you think? Well, okay, we had the brains play. with Bruno. You knew that right away. You had Bobby and Zach can win a lot of competitions, um, and I think I you know I can win a lot of competitions too. And like I think with a combination of all four of us, and then we didn't want an all guys, so we wanted to get girls. And then Ashley is like exactly what we wanted and how she's playing right now. Just vote with you know what I mean. Um, Ashley to me is looking prettier than anyone in the house right now. Um, everyone wants to say like, "Oh, Pilar is going to go to the final two. Ash no, Ashley's name's never been mentioned by one person ever to be put like on the block. Peely hasn't really either, but Peely, what Peely doesn't have a chance at the end. Ashley, she's she's doing pretty well. And then when we created the Chop Shop, we used Ashley for exactly that. She would be good in, in endurance competitions. We saw her in the uh, wall to wall to start the season. She did very good in that comp. So, um, and then Willow. We need one more pick, and I was about. To, and the thing is, my whole mindset was aligned with the gay going into the into the show. I was like, that was my goal, and I got away from it. And if I would have aligned with Johnny, the game would have been so different. But um, Willow cornered me, and I needed one more pick on the team. And I was on top of the washer and dryer in the backyard, and we needed one more pick for the for the team. And it was it had to be a female. And Willow cornered me, and Willow in the first three days. Um, I could stand, but after like day three to like day seven, like there was times where I just wanted to like kill her. You know what I mean? It's just like Willow's one I can't figure she's out. She's very, very like hyperactive, <laughs> so it's like uh, she's a you know I love Willow, but I just say how it is. You know, she she was off the walls that time in that house, and I knew on like day five or six I had the wrong people in my alliance with Willow, and I knew on day nine or ten I had the wrong guy with Zach. Everyone else was going to be very loyal to the Chop Shop. And when it came down to my game, it was, yeah, Brittany put me on the block. And I, I saw my eviction tape when Bruno said, um, Greg, Greg's game's in my hands. I believe my game was in Zach's hands. Um, whatever Zach said at that moment in the house, the house would have voted for. 
whether Johnny and Sarah and Brittany, that okay, that's fine. But Kevin, if if Zach would have said yes to Kevin and Pilar, they would have voted for me to stay, and then I would have had the Chop Shop, them too, and Godfrey enough to stay. Um, so yeah, Zach, Zach Zach was unloyal to the Chop Shop or unloyal to me, just like didn't like my game because I was so fiery and so real that maybe he just wanted it for me. Yeah, you kind of went hard real fast, and people are used to kind of right. people that just like flatline for the first couple of weeks and yeah. feel it out. That's so what hard. surprised that's really, you? That's hard for me. To, that's very. That's hard for me to do. I'm not like really wired like that. <laughs> if I could go back and do it all over again, I'd definitely like uh, stay stay a lot more under the radar than I did. But you know, I mean, I had a I had a great time. I was oh, just trying I, to be. I have, a mess, I have a message for you, Greg. I was at the live okay. show last night. And I had the okay. pleasure of sitting beside Bruno's brother, sister, and stepmother, and they say hello, and they love you. Yeah, I love them too. To uh, all the ILOs, what's going on? Your your son is killing it. Your brother is killing it. Uh, your dad is killing it. So uh, yeah, I'm Bruno. They're a I'm fun really, really group. Really... They're a fun yeah. group. Like I've been to two live tapings so far, and both tapings I've had a couple of them from. Like the first taping, it was his sister-in-law and like and um, Thomas and stuff like that. But then like cool. yesterday, it was his mother, his sister, his mother, stepmother, and his yeah, sister. He's got a, he's got a huge, going huge, on yeah, he's got a huge family, and they're so fun. Why is my sorry? Let me turn this down. It's me. <laughs> Are you serious? You have to unclick your thing because all. Oh, am I clicked? No, I'm not clicked. It's not going to either one of us. It's just on you the whole time. Well, you're on there right now. Now I am. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, it's going. Hi, John. Talk, Greg. <laughs> what's going on? What's, yeah, what are you, what's next? Okay, good. We're good. Perfect. Good. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, so they want. They just wanted to say hi and that they, they love you. And Yeah, because your friendship was really cool in that house. So yeah, what surprised yeah. you when you left the house the most? Like, there were so many secrets kept in that house. Like... Zach being pre-med and Neha being chiropractor and Godfrey having a girlfriend. Like, right. what, have, what have you found out since you've been out of that house that you're like, holy crap? Yep, uh, Kevin's a poker player. Uh, was like, you know, that was pretty pretty cool. And uh, Godfrey, the psych major, was pretty cool. <laughs> Zach and Nea both, you know, doing their thing. You know, you know, Zach, like, the guy looks like a doctor, right? Man, does yeah. he ever look like a doctor? <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it seemed like every single person like lied about who they were, and it was it's so funny. Like that's what this season is. It's just uh, it's such a mental challenge this year, and. Um, a lot of people are used to Big Brother where there's lots of the yelling and screaming and fighting. Like in season two, like those people like in the house actually didn't like each other. There was no one in the house this year that no one actually like really didn't get along with. Game wise, yeah, we were going after each other, but like everyone was like there was no like it was like good night and tucking you in every night, you know what I mean? And that that to me, like that yeah, I I get all that. So I wanted more of the, the the challenge back and forth. My team against your team. I'm an athlete. I'm I'm baseball player. So like, let's get a team and go after that team over there. And that was my mentality coming coming into the house. But um, I'll tell you what. Um, the the video gamer Bruno, the poker player Kevin, um, Godfrey the psych major, and Sarah, the like manipulator, because Sarah is like super smart too. You know what I mean? Those four people are killing the game, in yeah. my opinion. Um, Zach is doing well, but I think he's at some point. At some point, people are going to be like, get get him out of here. But yeah, they're kind of um, getting sick of him. They're kind of onto him now. So yeah, we'll see how he goes. But he's going to be one of those guys that's like one, like him and Bruno. I think are ones that you have to take one shot at if you miss. Mm -hmm. You're screwed. So then you're like, in big trouble. Exactly. Yeah, like if you if you want Godfrey them out, you gotta though. make sure. Godfrey, yeah, Godfrey's got nine lives in that house. So yeah, he, he totally does. He's a cat. He sleeps all day. <laughs> he ain't sleeping anymore. We woke him up. He's. <laughs> I think Adele ran in there and went, "Wake up, Because he, <laughs> he's awesome. totally with. So who was the hardest to live with in that house? Oh, good question. Oh, probably like. Probably my own alliance, like Willow. Like she was, you know what I mean. She was our Rich is the hardest, but then she left, and then I'd have to pass it on to to Willow. Who's the messiest? Because I have to tell I you that I watched I watched that bedroom, and I, it makes yeah. me twitch. Like I can't. Like why? Uh, I don't know who the dirtiest is. Everyone was okay. I'll say like uh, 
Bobby doesn't help too much in the kitchen. I'll t I'll tell you that. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people like does do dishes and stuff. Like I'm not saying he's dirty, but he doesn't. You know what I mean? Messy. Uh, we'll like messy. the dishwasher was the dishwasher was broke for like days and like not not that it was broke. Like we couldn't figure it out. It was actually working, but we couldn't figure it out. And uh, then. Like Bobby was putting dirty dishes into the like uh, dishwasher that doesn't work, and the whole house knew it didn't work, and he was just like filling it up with like dirty dishes, like that kind of drill. Like, oh, there's like little Bobby. things like that. You know he makes anything. it really hard. He, I, uh, Bobby was one of my preseason picks, mainly because he's from Oakville, and so am I. Nice. So he makes sometimes he makes it really hard. Yeah, to for be sure. Team Bobby, it's like come on, like. I well, I love it, it too because you guys that just another example of you guys being so hard. You guys are a rough cast on the house, right? Yeah. Like, oh man. This episode. I I think they said we're like the worst ever or something. You know, what I mean? in BB Can history, in BB Can we are for sure. Like there was something <laughs> broken every day. It was like it was crazy what was happening in there, and a lot of it like wasn't on like it was just accidents and stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we were like we we were we were definitely the worst for like breaking stuff. We had like a flood. We had a flood in there one day. Yes. <laughs> and Kevin, the, even Kevin the other day was like throwing bubbles all around the HOH room. Like, have you not learned, boy? Like. Yeah, right. Get in trouble. <laughs> exactly. So, Kevin's crazy. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's outside the box. That's what I like about it. <laughs> so let's talk about your eviction now, or no, not even yours. It's Cindy's. Cindy's first eviction. Yeah. She didn't hug you on the way out, and I was like, nope. I didn't like. She looked at you and went, "No," and I'm like, I don't yeah. understand because you weren't like. I don't know if I didn't see something, but. From what nope. I saw, you weren't awful to her. Like I'm like, she hugged Godfrey, who sat there and screamed at her for like how long yeah. about breaking the camera. Yeah, and, yeah. And she, you're the one she's taking out her anger at. And I'm like, I just, I didn't understand it. I was like, what's going I, on? I like, I like, re I like ruined her whole game for. Uh, for uh, I'll be, I thought I was like running the house for like, and I probably was way too early in the game from like day like three or four to like day seven. I was playing a strong, strong game. I know that. Um, too hard that early. You're, I should have been playing that game on day like 25. I get, I get that, you know. But um, uh, yeah, just that the whole thing with Cindy is that I was like responsible for her leaving the house. Ultimate, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I was Zach in my situation where whatever I said I could have been like, no, everyone, let's get Brit out. And I bet you everyone would have been like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Where Brittany's out, you know what I mean? So and Cindy kind of knew that. Uh, we had a great time in Sequester. I'm sure we're going to have a great time at the finale and stuff. Cindy, Cindy's pretty awesome. She was uh, hilarious really last night. She was, she, was, she was hilarious and salty at the same time. Like She was yeah. salty, salty, salty when she got evicted last night. Wait till uh, you hear my interview with her that I did today. She was salty with me. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I was like, oh, no, she didn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's, she's pretty funny. She's pretty funny. About. They were telling us to like uh, clean one day and sequester, and she was just like, "I'm not cleaning. They can get a cleaner in here." <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. Oh yeah. I didn't like her like the first couple of weeks. I didn't like her. Then she like she grew on me, and I think yeah, she grows she, on you for sure. Like a fungus. She She's <laughs> Well, not like a fungus, but she's kind of a badass. I am. Yeah. She, I completely underestimated her as far yeah, as oh, all yeah. the ways, even this this week, all the ways she is trying to manipulate the house to get back into the game. Holy shit, she strong uh, player, strong player, man. Very strong super player, strong, super Do strong you, player, super super strong personality. Um, if she just stopped talking about herself for like two minutes, you know what I mean? She would, <laughs> She she and she got labeled like that in the house though you know I mean the whole house labeled so when she came back in I knew she had no chance. Um, it, it, I think it's tough when you come back in, but I think also too. Do you think that they the house some of the people the house guests got rid of her a little too soon? Like she said, you know, some of them could have hung on to her a little bit. Little but bit. no, because, uh, because all the guy, all the guys wanted her out because yeah. if they did it, and she just would have teamed up with Brittany, Sarah, Willow, uh, you know, they 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 could get the guys. so the guys just Cindy's strong man. They you know they got they got rid of a strong player that knew a lot of information. You know what I mean? Like she knew a lot of information. So and you and Aya sent her in there yeah. with a lot of ammo, Absolutely. and it was crazy. Let's yeah. talk about your challenge with the rope. That looked yeah. like it was a joke. It was it such like a big effing joke. 
But yeah, it was a joke for guys like me. Like the when I was like I say when I was getting dressed in the costume for wardrobe, the people putting the costume on my me just and like this guy, you know what I mean? He's done. He can't win this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was disappointing. Uh, I would have wanted a vote. I would have wanted like some crapshoot where like it's luck of the draw. Um, to do right. an endurance competition where it's all science and physics on body height, body weight, uh, foot size. Um, it was a joke, man. I was just that was my thinking too. Like you, Johnny, and even Risha really no chance had no chance. Like at six Zero foot chance. one, how was Risha ever going to stand on that little rope? Zero chance. Zero like, chance. But you know, I mean, that's what they. You gotta look at it. that's what they wanted. They obviously wanted uh, one of those two back in the house, right? Like I guess you know that's what that's my. I mean, the challenges were preset before. I mean, they don't just make them up like that mm -hmm. week. Like they're preset, so they knew going in that that was. Mm -hmm. the but you know, I say that too. And if, Bobby, if, if, if Bobby would have been on that uh, challenge, he would have won it too. You know what I mean? He, he would might, have a good chance to yeah. win it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he's because he's got all that right. upper arm strength from being a rock climber. Yeah. Feet. But like I'm like a puzzle would have been better like anything it's more even like I mean no one wants to go in on a math right math problems <laughs> yeah what I wanted was one of those ones I think they did it on uh, B BB USA six where they had to just keep their hand on the button for like uh, whoever takes your hand off this little square first uh, oh yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like a twenty day, it's like a twenty hour challenge that that that's who wants in the house the most yeah exactly, exactly. yeah. Oh yeah, when they all kind of had to sit there. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. So we, 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 we went through all this, the four and five of us in the house, and like, what's it gonna be? And we ran through all these scenarios. We we endurance. We were all like, it's not gonna be endurance. It's not gonna be endurance. Sure enough, uh, there it was. It was endurance, man. Like not set up for me. Suck because I I would like I can work hard. I got a lot a lot of heart. You know what I mean? Like get get me running and sweating, and I I would have like. Beat all those people. I would have, like loved to go against Johnny and uh, yeah. you know, I mean, and Cindy too. All all of them, but it just wasn't set up for me that challenge. It was disappointing. So what happened in Sequester House? What was life like Ooh, with yeah. three strong female personalities, like yeah. you... including Johnny? <laughs> yeah, and then, and then the gay guy, and then the gay guy comes in for the last four days. Exactly. Right? Uh, yeah, who I was like, we we I went after all of them in the house, you know what I mean? So except Risha, um, I was going after Naya, I was going after Johnny. It was like that was my team against their team, and we had a great time in Sequester. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, we really got to know each other like outside the house. Uh, we had a blast, you know what I mean? Sequester Sequester life to me sucks. Uh, you know what I mean? You just like don't have any. And there was like a lot of people on Big Brother USA are saying, "Oh, it was the time of my life." And then uh, Judd replied to me and was like, "Dude, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, get me the fuck out of there." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, you want to know what's going? You want to know what's going on with the outside world? You want to know what's going on with friends? And everyone else is different. You know what I mean? I wasn't a, a so-called super fan uh, compared to the these other people in the house. Am I a huge fan? And do I love Big Brother? It's fuck. It's my life. But um, I, I, I didn't know the knowledge that these people didn't know, knew. That's why I played so aggressive. Like, I was a rookie. I'm a rookie. I didn't even know the show two years ago. Um, you know what I mean? So I, I've tried to catch up watching old seasons and stuff, but uh, I didn't know the game like these people. They're like, they've known this game for like 15, 16 years. So that, I was at a huge disadvantage with that, too. Let's talk about your journey to Big Brother because it's an interesting one because you were in the casting process for last season yeah. and then you had to drop out because you were in a car accident so like yeah. how far deep did you get into it last season that well I, went, I know I made the I made the show last year oh wow so yeah. I wonder yeah. who replaced you then there's a lot of rumors and like every weekend I used to watch the show I used to be like oh it's Kenny oh it's Andrew Nope, it's Adele. You know, I went through every single guy sitting on my couch, like all mangled, knowing that I was supposed to, no, knowing, knowing that I was supposed to be. Oh. Oh. You know, so it, that one was a hard one to watch. Uh, that one, I it, I was at a, in a bad place of mind in life. The BB USA was really hard for me to watch for some reason, um, just like emotionally, like knowing, like I missed out. But I went through the process again and I and made the show. So 
Um, it's cool, and I know I would have fit in better in the year last year's cast. It would have been like, you know, I mean, that was more my style of game. Where this year, it's really not that Big Brother's not ever mental because it always is, but this is on another level. They've taken the like arguing and hate like totally out of the game, um, and you and never really so see that. In, yeah. You never see that in Big Brother, but that's the type of mentality these people are on. Doctors, poker players, psych majors—they control their emotions. They have to control their emotions and. Um, what a great cast! It, like it's a crazy cast. It's a crazy cast. And they're so young too. Like it's crazy how young they're all are. I mean, I, like I mean, yeah. you're you're my age. Like, actually, you're yeah. a little younger than me. Like I couldn't imagine being stuck in a house with a bunch of twenty-one year olds. Like oh man, it's tough. They're all like you know, getting drunk on two beers and running up to the hot tub. <laughs> and drinking, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, they're it's all tough, kissing you know? each other. They don't no joke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Me and Bruno are just yeah. Bruno's married and like I'm 36 years old. What am I going to do? Yeah. Go and start. And you know what? I can I know this for a fact. If I would have just like showmanced with Brittany, I'd still be in the house because that's all she wants. Okay, and that's all she wants is cuddles and eventually like kisses and just like attention, right? That's all she wants. And if I could go back and do it again, I would definitely be a part. I could probably play my exact hard game, make up with Brittany, and still be in the house. You know what I mean? Because she would never would have put me up. Would you have tried to go for ne for Neha? Would you have tried to get a so much? No, like, you know what? Like me and Neha probably like we. If there was anyone I would kiss in the house, it would be like Neha. Like you know what I mean? Like. Uh, over most all the girls, that's for sure. But I was never about to like make that move on the, in the house or anything like How that. How crazy I didn't want, is her if, resting if I, if bitch I, if, face if, person? She really does. Like, she really does, though. She does. She just like we talked about it in the house. She's like frowns, but then when she smiles, it's like one of the most beautiful smiles you can like she's imagine. She's gorgeous, like, and like she gets that really, bitch really, face. I was like, holy shit! Like she scares me. Like how is that in person to watch? Like. <laughs> but her attitude, because you really, we really got to see her and sequester, like who she really is, like different than the house, right? She like suits that face, like she is gangster, and Naya, you know what I mean? She's, <laughs> she's awesome. She's like, I right, she's like her. a boss, man. Like Naya's, Naya's awesome. I want to play a little game with you. It's Ooh, theme yeah. association, so I'm gonna give you a house guest, and I want to the first description that comes into your head. Okay. You ready? Okay. So let's yeah. go with Cindy first. Cindy, uh, is that with a S or with a M E? <laughs> Let's go with an S. Let's go with Cindy with an S. Or though Cindy with a C comes out every now and then, know that you don't even want to see her. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, oh, <I> Zena. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who do you got next? She looks um, um, not. Jordan. Gordon Propa. <laughs> Willow. Willow, um... Bisexual. <laughs> oh, my God. You said it. You said it. I don't, even, I don't even think it's bisexual, to tell you the truth. That's all I'll really say about that. I don't she's, know a she's a mystery. Zach. Yeah. Oh, QB0? <laughs> Peely. Peely Banana. She's just a sweetheart. Uh, she's she's going to be like a gem of a woman in like three, four years. And like... <laughs> Uh, this, I'll just say this about Peely while we're talking about her. It's like people don't people don't understand that she's only lived in the, in in um, an English speaking country for like seven eight years. She grew up like uh, in Mexico till she was like 13, 14 years old. This is all like second language to her. So her thoughts are actually all there. And if this game was in uh, Spanish, she'd be like spitting it hard. Okay, but like she can't. You know, what I mean, it just doesn't catch up for her at times. Um, the second language, and like I could only imagine going to play like Big Brother Brazil, and like you know what I mean, like okay, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because you know what I mean. Twitter's been a little she's, nasty she's, she's, with Keely. She's actually like really, she's not. Um, she's really intelligent. Um, she's she cooks, she cleans, she looks after herself. Um, she's like always working out. Like the, the, she's an awesome girl. Okay, does, she really does. Is. She need a little thicker outer skin for this game. Like this week, we saw her crying. She was very upset mm -hmm. about putting Cindy up. Oh, they're women. They're, they're women. They're always gonna cry and like cry. Like I cried Did a bunch you hear of times. Like, you, know, <laughs> you never know until you, that the house is crazy, man. I'm an really emotional guy. I cry a lot. So like uh, I don't cry near as much as like Sarah or like some of these. Right, because you don't have ovaries, okay? Yeah. That's why. Hey now. Exactly. Yeah, because Twitter's been extremely <laughs> nasty with Pe with Peely this week. Like the, everyone is is like 
just going off about her English. And I'm like, you know, for someone who's been here for six or seven years, she speaks better English than people that have lived here their whole lives. She life. has a yeah. beautiful need, accent. So she they need to that. shut their mouths. Like, there's nothing wrong with her English. Ay, Dios mío. She need to shut. Cayete. Cayete. I know. There there you go. Go. Like, I love her accent. Cayete. And Cayete. Karen Godfrey can talk all day long. And I'm just like. Yeah. Oh, I know. Ooh. I know. Have you ever heard uh, Godfrey talk uh, Zimbabwe on the live feeds? A little tiny bit, not too much. I've heard him so say kind good. of words, but so yeah. So good. You should hear what this. What does that sound like? I don't even know what Zimbabwe accent is. Or... Yeah, I don't know. It's some crazy, uh, I don't know what it is either, but uh, we'll have to Google it. But it's some <laughs> crazy language that he can like rip and flow. Wow. Yeah. All right. What, let's, what comes to your mind when you think, think of Bruno? 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 Bruno the boss, man. He's a boss. He is a boss. Did you know about his gaming before you left, Huggy? Because I know no. he's told people, so it, he told them after. Not yet. I didn't know. Johnny. Johnny. Oh, man. Because you guys kind of got into it before you left the house. So Yeah, like, yeah. For sure we did. For sure. You guys kissed him make up the jury? <laughs> <laughs> He's another guy that I really got along with in Sequester. I don't know, you know, we got to talk things out. We had some good times in there. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny, he's a he's a he's a great gamer of Big Brother. I know that. I don't really know what to say about Johnny. He's he's, he's a gamer. Just say unicorn. Just say unicorn. Unicorn. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Risha. <laughs> Risha the cougar. Oh my god! Yeah. How yeah, is she, she in person? How is she in person? How is she in person? Yeah, she John is obsessed with How are the girls in person? person? How are the girls? Like, I don't know. She's a, I love Risha, but she's got a lot of issues. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, she I, killed Peter really on the sideshow. You know I mean? Honest to God. She almost huh? killed Peter in the sideshow. Because I was on yeah. I was oh, yeah, the sideshow. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But they, yeah, that's <laughs> nothing. She just gets in these moods where it's just like so draining. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's like. So she's I don't a know, handful. Stra- it's like really, really, really stressed. And then, like, I don't know. Maybe I love her to death, though. <laughs> so the younger guys, it'd be tough to handle her being a cougar. Yeah, they would. And you're sure. be like, whoa, okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> God no, bre- no breakfast in the morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> John? <laughs> Here's a bagel on your way out. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think when you hear Godfrey? Godfrey? Uh, proper. He is God. <laughs> He is. His speeches have been epic the last two weeks. Yeah, he's playing a he's playing a killer game. Now Kevin. Kevin, man, he's like the schneister, you know what I mean? He's just like that like sneaky guy, you know what I mean? He's uh playing poker, he's playing poker, he's made, he's making great moves. When he switched the whole house too, because he he was out that week, and then if he didn't hear that conversation with Cindy, Kevin would have been long gone out of this game, and how different would the game be then? Oh, no kidding, no kidding. Yeah. Now, um, what was I going to say? Sarah, let's go Sarah. Sarah's like the, Sarah. Wicked, the wicked witch of the East. Like, she's like, oh. she's got all her, like, rocks and all her, like, you know what I mean? She's got all this stuff. And, uh, and she, she is, yeah, I'll just say this. She, <laughs> she is killing the game of Big Brother. She's in my top four right now for sure. Okay, Bobby. Bobby, oh man, just ro- wait, is he climbing rocks or is it rock head? <laughs> oh, you heard it here, people. You know what, you I'll say this about Bobby, I love Bobby. He is a super loyal guy, and that's what I really liked about him. It sucked that we were against each other on the block. We would have never voted against him, you know what I mean? Like, he's, yeah. he's super loyal, that's what I like about Bobby, but uh, in Big Brother, you better start jumping around a little bit, buddy, you know yeah. what I mean? He was the he toughest was so, to turn. Like Bruno had a really hard time trying to get him over to the vote Jordan out. Yeah. Of the house, like he was, he was a tough one. He was kind of like I kind of compare him to Caleb from last season. To yeah. Go to the U.S. Like just loyal to the core and just not. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I like, the, I like, I like the game comparison. But Caleb was actually very entertaining too. Bobby doesn't have a lot of entertainment level. I don't know. I watched him do some yoga, and I'm I can I can sit there and just watch that. I'm like I'm good. Ah, he go. saying he doesn't have to talk, Dana. Is that what you're saying? He doesn't have to talk. Is all I have to say. And if I find him on the streets in Oakville, and I will be watching for him. Dana, you're a married I can't lady. I can't. I can't wait to snowboard with Bobby though. Like uh, he's. He uh, loves to snowboard. I love to snowboard. We're gonna get together. Me and Bobby will be great friends. I know that. Sure. Now, Ashley. Uh, she's a sweetheart, too. And uh, I got her going to the final, too, in this game right now. 
Everyone is very like no one's talking about her now. I guess there's some tw hate Twitter hate saying, "Oh, are, are you here, Ashley?" But uh, yeah, she's here and she's on both sides. She's on Pilar side and she's on the Chop Shop side. Now I know those uh, groups are now like mingling together, but um, Ashley's in a great position. I'll tell you that she's. Do you think she's, she's still on she's Chop Shop? Too. Like, Ashley's cool. Do you think there really is still a Chop Shop, or do you think it's kind of just the Diaper Alliance? Yeah, 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 exactly. The chop shop uh, is it, it, it's gone. I they said it right. It pretty much it started to die out after I left, but it did get people far in this game. People are still throwing it out there. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, that, it, it might have disappeared fully, maybe like a not even a week ago, five seven days ago, mm -hmm. um, where you could actually see it being like, okay, it's it, it's pretty much gone. Yeah, I'm like it's like diapers versus depends now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, how about Neha? Neha, Neha is she is gangsta. Just, I'll call Neha gangsta. She's uh, she's awesome though, man. What a what a she loves Big Brother. She has a huge passion. Um, that's what me and her life. She, she's got high passion. I have high passion. Um, yeah. she loves the game of Big Brother to the end. Um. Yeah, she she's she. We wanted her out of the house, man. She's a hard nosed player, and thank God, man. It was like hours before Kevin put that eviction that Naya got in Kevin's ear, and yeah, uh, had that I not been an instant, I don't think she would have been gone that week. I think she had she Kevin. Been, she would have had. She had Kevin turn. So yeah, she's a for good sure. Talker. But Kevin voted with the house that week for sure. I think he would have put Naya up. You think? Yeah, I think he would have put it up. Well, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, if only he could play it like, like an in like a bizarro world or whatever. Yeah, oh, I know. Last but not least is Brittany. Brittany, oh man, <laughs> I got a I got a grudge with her just because of that like not final two deal she because we never said final two but it was just like have each other's back. We always remind each other on that. Uh, just get her out of the house, you know what I mean? That's just yeah. make her go suffer and sequester. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's all I want. The thing that bothered me with Brittany was, and it kind of with John. I mean, I love Johnny, but what bothered me the, with those two was when they kind of went and started using the bully word, and I'm like, yeah, I hate that word when it's not yeah. appropriate. Like you did, yeah. you weren't sitting there telling people what to do and how to do it, yeah. and yelling at people and like mm -hmm. putting them down. Like I. I hated when they were doing that. Like I hate when people yeah. use that word and it's not appropriate. It wasn't appropriate. It was totally unfair. You know what I mean? It was a good gameplay. You know what I mean? Them throwing around that word. Like there's like there's no rules in Big Brother, so like it was a really good gameplay. But it was like I, that's you know I don't know what do you call it like a low blow kind of deal. You yeah, know what like I mean? He's playing aggressive I uh, for sure. He's playing aggressively, but he's not sure. sitting there. Putting personal attacks on people, or hitting right. people, like you know, like is and like uh, any all my friends, family, kids I've coached, kids I c currently coach, they they know who I am, they know how I am, they'll know I'm not not bully. I I, I kind of co I have the coaching philosophy of kind of how Big Brother um, treats their house guests. You tear them down and then you build them up. You tear them down and you build them up. Um, that's exactly what Big Brother would do to us. Like uh, yeah, um, you know, and they they take away this or take away that, and then all of a sudden be like, okay, here's a bunch of KFC or here's a bunch of burgers and uh, some beer. You know what I mean? And then we'd love them again. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of KFC, Godfrey said, why are you guys throwing away the bones? That's the best part. Uh, I can't believe you're bringing that up. That's so gross. <laughs> yeah, I was actually eating bones. Uh, before, before I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in the, house? I wasn't in the house for the KFC, but we had, we made some chicken wings one night, and he was asking everyone why they were throwing away their bones, and like, he was actually eating his the whole bone. It was like so. And plastic. shrimp tails too, like. Yeah, shrimp tails. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, think about it. He was one. from a country that the best has part. no food. Yeah. So you get exactly. it, they eat it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too, and like I don't know, like yeah, he's, he's some of his stories. He's off the wall. Um, uh, now we, we they all know it's game, you know what I mean? But it's funny game. He's oh, yeah. the most entertaining guy for sure left in the house. He's like the last of the entertainment. Ke Kevin can give some good ever entertainment too. Um, but the but showmances yeah, are swallowing that up. I find like I think his relationship with Peely is kind of swallowing up. The Kevin mm -hmm. we knew at the beginning of the game, like the funny one, and mm -hmm. 
Same but thing with like yeah. Ashley. I think her showmance with Zach is kind of swallowing her and not allowing her to be, be herself. Be herself. But let's I like get that into, a lot. I like that a lot. Let's get into this week's like this week's Big Brother. Peely wins HOH, which I didn't see that coming for <laughs> love or money. Like I was like. What well, what about the challenge? What about the HOA challenge? That looked really hard, and I didn't understand what a student did. Would they just blur it with a graphic? Yeah. It looked really hard. Yeah. How, would you, how would you have done, Greg, with that? With that uh, not, probably not. Probably not well. Probably not well. <laughs> that, 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 that looked like a difficult competition. Uh, I, I, I know I wouldn't have done well. I was surprised that Peely won it, um, but I guess I read on Twitter that she said she like knew it. Knew it. She said she knew it all. So, uh, yeah, and she seemed was, like she was always seemed so shocked. She's like, oh, "Oh wow, I got it right!" Like I yeah. feel me, I was like, "I got it right!" Like even Bobby, <laughs> right? like, Bobby got one right. He's like, "Oh shit!" Like what did I do? Like, and then yeah, he turns his back on funny. Cindy, in which just like when Bobby eliminated Cindy, that brought out Cindy with a C right there. Like oh, it did. Little it, happy yeah, Cindy sure with did. an S it, is gone, and Cindy with a C okay. is gone. <laughs> she 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 had a personal. Uh, she she wanted Bobby so bad, like that's why Cindy Cindy was a good person to go back in the house because Naya, Naya like everyone else in the house just had like vengeances, me included. You know what I mean? Cindy didn't really have that, so um, it it could have played out different because me we I, if I was going back in the house, I was going after Zach and Brittany. There's no question that Naya was going after um, Zach as well, but like Naya had this uh, personal. Like she'll tell you all about it when Bobby was like laughing um, during oh, yeah. the eviction, pretending he was crying, and like I was so close to dying laughing too, like breaking down like a little kid in elementary school, only because Bobby's energy was he was laughing, and I knew he was laughing, and thank God he had that uh, hood on, or he would have been, he would have lost control. Have and you watched Naya, that episode? Naya, Naya, Naya has like. Uh, uh, just like she wants them to get like instant evicted so bad, and I think he will. I think he will. I think the karma, the karma will come out. Bobby get a, if Bobby gets instant eviction, um, I'll give Naya a high five on that one for sure. Yeah, the karma, the karma is strong with that one. But did you have you watched that episode back, like that episode, that instant back yet? I saw it. I did. Where see he's it. like dancing in the vault. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. oh my gosh, Bobby. He's classic. Yeah, so like Keely wins HOH, and now the poor girl. Like, I mean, it takes her a while because I guess of the English being a second. Like, I mean, she's got to translate mm -hmm. everything in her head, and people are just throwing. Like, I think like Kevin had the best analogy in the hot tub where he's like, "Here's Peely, and it's like a filter, and like there's like monsoon Cindy coming and revealing the chop shop, and then there's yeah. someone else coming and going, Cindy actually voted oh. for Jordan, and she's just like. <laughs> Yeah. But before that, he's like, Cindy needs to be stopped with an S. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's before... good. Kevin's he's really witty, man. He's really witty. Uh, to me, that was just Kevin's uh, HOH. You know what I mean? As soon as Peely won it, you knew it was going to be Kevin's play. And um, I think they should have got someone else out. For sure they should have. You know what I mean? They, should've, they had a chance to get a big target out. Um Bruno, Zach, like these guys are going to have to start taking each other out and that's why this tr Big Brother set this up to this triple eviction. It's going to be epic on Wednesday. It's going to it's going to be three people out of the house that and it's going to make a drastic drastic change in the game. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Yeah, like I mean with Cindy, I mean like you know Rachel Riley, her whole thing is floaters grab a life vest. Cindy is the perfect life vest to like hold on for mm -hmm. dear life yeah. because the longer she's in that house yeah. She's always gonna take one of those seats, and then there's always gonna be someone. Yeah. <laughs> they got they they, they kind of got that with Godfrey though, right? Yeah, they do, but I mean, I think Godfrey like Godfrey's got, got some allies God, God, in that. God, 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 Godfrey does have votes, so. Yeah, like I mean, he's got Bruno in his back pocket now. He's got. Yeah. So you know, and let's talk about the speeches a little bit. You know, you Canadians seem very nice people. <laughs> You're good looking. But holy crap, those speeches are pretty to the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, 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 we say it real. We say it real. And like God, Godfrey's taking these speeches to another level. You know, what I mean, he really, he really has. And uh, Ke Kevin's given some great ones. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's harsh, man. There's they, everyone's getting right to the point with 
this is who I want, and, and I'm coming and I'm, after I'm going after Bobby. Yeah. If you keep me in here. I've yeah. never heard that. In a, yeah, in it's a crazy. He, he was getting after it. Uh, she took a page from Godfrey's book, and yeah, uh, yeah uh, I, I, I think Cindy, Cindy should, I don't know. Cindy, Cindy didn't. Cindy didn't have a chance going back in there. That the house made a pack that whoever comes back in gets voted out. Um, I was part of that pack. I, I would have expected the same thing. To me, she should have taken the ten grand and ran. Yeah. yeah. What about that? Do you think maybe Bobby should have taken that ten grand? Like, do you no. think he has any kind of chance at? He do, he do, he doesn't have a chance. But if I was in Bobby's shoes, I wouldn't. If I was in Cindy's shoes, I would. Bobby can still stay in that house till like. Final Four, you know what I mean? He can, he, he can win. You don't think Bobby can win a veto? Oh, I'm sure he can. Like, <laughs> hell yeah, he can win whatever challenge he wanted to. I think. He's absolutely. Just, no, absolutely. I kind of agree so with you. They're gonna try and get Bobby. They're gonna try and get Bobby out, and then he's all of a sudden gonna win a veto, and then also, you know what I mean? Bobby's got good a, a good chance to keep going in the game. He he'll probably get evicted this week, but um, if he wins a couple comps here, keeps himself in the game, uh, he he can go very far. Now, do you think he was throwing the the shooting game? Do you think uh, I haven't seen that episode yet. So I, uh, I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. Okay, then I'll let you catch up. But yeah, there was one where. I mean, oh, I, you can tell me. You can tell oh, me. Oh, like there was. I, I, it was I've one where John, John, Johnny <laughs> came. Spoiler. Spoiler. It was the one. Johnny it was the video that John. was played when Johnny was on the block, and it's basically yeah. like they had to shoot guns at like tennis rackets. At the target of the head. Jo yeah. Johnny explained the whole thing in Sequester, so I, I, I did the challenge. Um, I don't know. Johnny just said everyone went for him. Yeah, they, they went out of the gate. They went for him, yeah. and then it was like, like I don't know if after they got Johnny out, I don't know if like Bobby just kind of went out, ah, whatever, because they wanted maybe they wanted Bruno to have all the power that week or whatever. But yeah, yeah, because he Bobby was like on the ground sniper style. Like, yeah, yeah, he probably did. Uh, uh, Bobby, I heard, was giving letters to Bruno during the whole. Um, I don't. I wasn't there, but the washing machine one, where he had to spell. Godfrey puzzle. was. Yeah, Godfrey yeah. was. Godfrey, was. Godfrey realized that he didn't have a, ho a chance in hell to win that competition anymore. Yeah. And so he was like, well, I might as well just find the letters for Bruno because Bruno's so far ahead. So he just sat in the pool and looked Getting for the letters. letters. And it wasn't against the rules because I guess the rule was you weren't allowed to impede yeah. a player, but you weren't You can help. You were not allowed to help yeah, someone. Yeah, you were allowed so to help. You he wasn't, help. It, was like uh, a, it was like a team comp for sure. you got to listen to those <laughs> rules. They go over them and ask you if... Ask you like five times. Is there any questions? You know what I mean. And like yeah. uh, they they say them. Do you need them repeated? They repeat them. And yeah, it's it's uh, they, it's clear. Think? The rules are always yeah. clear. And I heard that jo Johnny said that they the rules were clear. And if they they would have known that they would have been trying to work together. And that yeah. that that really burned them there too. But yeah, I, I could see Bobby definitely throwing that comp for just Br just for Bruno to have the power for sure. Yeah. Now when. Peely dominates Cindy and Godfrey. Where no one is surprised. Like I think, I think nope. they both. If they could have, they probably would have just started that nomination ceremony in those chairs. But that's what sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because now it's just back to the vote for the house that week. You yeah. know what I mean? And that like, and it's mid game to get Cindy out of there. They had a chance to get bought. They could have got anyone they wanted out that week. Bobby, Zach, Bruno, Godfrey. They tried Godfrey. He won the veto. But uh, for them not to get any power player out with me, like that, that's gonna yeah. hurt them. Yeah. That that's gonna hurt Kevin. I think that's but gonna hurt. Kevin. All Cindy said in Peely's ear, very calm, not a huge deal. I'm I'm disappointed. And then a whole shit storm happens in the house. Bobby's going crazy. They're all in the bathroom. Peely's crying. Exact same and thing happened to me. Exact same thing happened to me with uh with Willow. I said something like aggressive at, at Willow. She broke down and cried. I it might have been before the live feeds. I don't know. Um, but she uh exact same thing happened with Peely in the house. So much emotion builds up, right? Um. So it's like that's just a cherry on top. That was just like that, her emotions were running wild, Peely. I know where she was. You know what I mean? She was really uh, her, she's emo everyone gets emotional in there, and like that was just the cherry on top, the break of the ice. Um, it wasn't one thing that happened. It wasn't that one thing, and that's what people don't understand on Twitter. It wasn't just the one thing. It was just the whole emotion of the week and her having to put up people and get blood on her hand. Like no one knows until you're in that house playing game 25 hours a day. 
Um, so that's why it's it's uh, upsetting seeing these people on Twitter like bash her, like yeah, say like, stupid things. And it's not even like Peely's reaction. That was it was me for Bobby. I'm like Bobby mm. just went like he kind of lost his shit. And yeah. he started, like like Sydney's in the bathroom and he's like rah, rah, rah. like can you yeah. like if you're gonna yell at me at least wait till I'm off the like. Yeah. Cindy and Bobby did not like, and, and so did Cindy uh, not hug Bobby when she left the second time. She didn't hug nobody. Yeah. She just walked right out of that house. She was yeah. like, "Bye." Yeah, she because she copied the Ginger Ninjas move already. You know what I mean? Our yeah, well, she explained that. it. She did explain it. She's like, "I'm, I'm gonna," and she was really. It was kind of heartbreaking to watch her on the like on the stage because she did break yeah. down when she got out to her So Like, it's not like you didn't hug anybody. You're just like, "Bye, house." Like, you didn't say bye yeah. to people. He said yeah. bye to the house. And she's like, I didn't want to hug anybody because I didn't want like I was gonna cry and I didn't want to cry and. Part of her reason too was like she didn't want people hugging her because she didn't want to expose like Sarah and Brittany like how close yeah. they had become. So she's like, I didn't want anyone to ruin their game by hugging me because the minute they hug me, there's a target on their back. So yeah. just hauled ass and walked out. Cool. That's cool. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Cindy's, <laughs> a, Cindy's a strong player. She had yeah. a good big brother. She had a big brother. Up, good big brother run. So what do you think of this have not competition? This is like the best competition I've seen in my life, where they're in the big giant balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know this right now. I don't know this right now. Oh, you haven't seen the episode? Oh, oh no. my gosh, they're in like those big, like human size like soccer balls. They're playing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they're just bashing each other. No way! I love those yeah. things. Yeah. Cool. And it was That's like it was. Good. It was Kevin and Willow were the team captains, and Kevin picked. He was like, "I'm gonna throw this competition." Because I'm gonna pick emotional players to cause drama, so he picked Godfrey, um, Sarah, and Brittany to be on his team because nice. like, those three won't do well on slop, so they're gonna lose their minds. Awesome. And then, and then Willow got um, Bobby, Ashley, and Zach, yeah. and then um, Bruno and uh, Cindy were automatic cows for the week. So and Godfrey was like, I'm gonna throw this competition too because he wanted to keep Kevin in the have not room, so he could get into his ear all week without like raising. So they're spirit. both trying to throw the comp. Yeah, and neither of them know they're trying to throw the comp. So like, it was hilarious. That's like, so funny. That's awesome. That's like, great. Bruno, like Godfrey is just whacking Zach. Like he's just like. And like, now who's all who's, the our, who's have not then? Have nots were Kevin, Godfrey, Brittany. Nice. And so Brittany's on slop again. That's yeah. Or that's what third. Yeah, last yes. week was on slot. So. This is the best. This is but the best. Look at, look at the smile on his face, Dana. Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> Brittany on slop. Brittany on slop is epic week. Epic week. And it was two you. weeks in a row. She had just yeah. come off a of slop too. So and you were just talking weeks. about the crazy yeah. eyes too. So oh, you went on that. slop. Brit yeah. Hashtag Brit had Brit on slop. I'm telling you. Godfrey was yeah. like just feeding her garbage <laughs> and making her paranoid. I bet. I bet. Godfrey was having a blast with her. So That's they so this good. Video. Did you see the video, any of the video competition? Have you seen, like, pictures? or nope. It's basically it's a big thing. concentration game where they, it was sponsored by Kate. Oh, I didn't see it. I, I, saw, sorry, I, I saw the episode the other night with uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They had to open up the lids yes. and, like... Very hard comp. I don't think uh, I would have done. I I could do okay in that in that comp, but uh, Cindy Cindy got uh, shafted when 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 Cindy had the comp won, and then she got the trade with Willow or whatever, right? That yeah. That uh, that was too bad because that's that competition is right up Cindy's alley. I felt really bad for Cindy when she lost that uh, veto because I knew she yeah. was that. The whole house did too. I mean, I think oh. everybody kind of put game aside for about like two minutes to be like. Yeah. Oh shit! Like this. Like it's done. This sucks. Yeah. This is like an instant eviction. Like you have absolutely mm -hmm. zero chance now yeah. to save yourself. So God I agree with wins. I agree with all of that except they. I don't think they took two minutes and didn't play game. They were definitely playing game within those uh, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's, there's no two minutes okay, off. We'll give them, we'll no give them thirty seconds. I think Up they here. kind of had like thirty seconds of post shit. No moment of silence up here, even yeah. if there's silence. No, right? Yeah, never. for sure. Oh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. So then we get Godfrey's epic veto speech and Cindy's epic veto speech. It's like, yep. use it on me because I'm going to go after Bobby. And like, yep. Those two are... I don't know. Cindy, Cindy's kind of like a copycat now. She like ran out of the house and didn't hug anyone. She like 
She did the exact same speech Godfrey did about the blood on my hands, which she did it to Bobby. <laughs> like, I don't know. Come on, Sydney. Get and Jordan didn't hug anybody either on his way out. Jordan just grabbed a sandwich and left. So. I know. I started, I started that trend. I'm glad I started that trend because everyone always stays in hugs. And I, you know what I mean? I, started, I know I started that trend. I was the first one to do it. I wish I would have left a little. I watched my eviction. I wish I would have left a little bit earlier, though. <laughs> uh, I know I left early, but I wanted to do it I, like as soon as Arissa opened her mouth. If I could do it again, I just. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, why would you want like the vote was eight nothing? Why would yeah. you want to hug any of these people? They all wanted you out. Yeah, that's how I was too. But I like I I, I said before I even went in the house, that's how I was gonna leave. So it didn't matter if I was sixteenth, twelfth, fourth. I was gonna leave the house just just like that. Mine was fully premeditated. But I'm right with you. You don't want to hug any of those people. They just kicked you out of the house. <laughs> exactly. Now, what did you think of Sarah and Cindy's plan? Like, once she was left on that block to die, what did you yeah. think of their plan? Like, their plan of put Bobby up to flush out this secret veto that he. Yeah, you know what, Bobby? Bobby got himself in trouble with this thing. He should have never said. He should have never said that. Because now they're going to be like, oh, he has a secret. They, they, they're going to throw him on the block and, and vote him out and be like, where's your veto? And he's going to be out the out the door. Yeah. Even That's Adele cool. said that last night, like on the yeah. side from this airing tonight. He's like, if you say you have something, you better have some proof. He's like, at least when I lied about mine, I had something I could show them because they yeah. want to see it. Yeah. He's like, I cut out the words that were written on the back. Yeah. But they could see a physical card, so they kind of believed me. Like, yeah. Bobby's got nothing, and now he's, and like, if you're gonna have that secret, don't fucking tell Willow. Like, yeah, no, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, uh, he's he's dug himself in a hole. Um, but he could he could win some comps here. We'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it, uh, it's made the nominations yet? Uh, when when are noms? They're coming up any any time, aren't they? Tomorrow? It should have been today. It should have been today, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So, and apparently it's going to be spoilers. People take your things out. Hmm. I don't know for sure yet. I haven't watched, seen Twitter Bob since. Bob and time. Brittany, right? Yeah, Bob and Brittany. Yeah. So that's what the that's what the rumors are right now. I haven't seen yeah. anything since I got home from work. You never know. I'm telling you right now, things can change in ten seconds. Exactly. What did you think of Champagne Gate? Sarah and Willow after this yeah. family camping trip. <laughs> Sharing a bottle of champagne. Yeah, Rochelle is really mad about it from last year. Well, think about it. I mean, that poor girl, like not thinking, grabbed one fuzzy peach out of yeah. the HOH room, put yeah. in her mouth. The minute someone said, you're a have-not, spit the damn thing out, and the yeah. whole house got punished. Yeah. Sarah chugged a bottle of champagne with the clear thought of, Oh well, if I get punished, yeah, like I, I know, think it's, uh, it's that's crazy, that's crazy, and got, and got away with it, like you know it's what just I mean? The bubbles, like, it was just the bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, they should they punish really... the whole house and let <laughs> yeah. Sarah get like and not punish Sarah and yeah. just watch the wrath. That that's will what uh, that's what kind of happened to Rochelle, right? Because uh, the whole house went on slop, I think, yeah. for like yeah, days, like two days or something. Sarah has a girl crush. She's got no marijuana. Give the girl little bubbles, okay? Yeah, for With sure. Girl for crush, sure. Right? No doubt, no doubt. Sarah, I, I'm loving Sarah's game. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I, lo I love her game. If Sarah self-professed doesn't shower a lot. Does she stink? No. Everyone asked me that. Like, I never smelled her. You know what? Yeah, I mean? like, as well. I, I never, I never, yeah. I never smell her. No, I never. Like, she doesn't stink. Like, and she does. She like it. She she can throw on. She can throw on like a really good outfit and stuff. Like. Uh, she's got like, the hair. style. She's got she's got tons of style. That girl. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now so we get the H O H comp, which was really cool to watch in person because Cindy was hilarious. Like because she could talk to us because Arissa when Arissa wasn't holding down the buzzer, so nice. she would talk. Like, yeah, and she was just hilarious between her answers and like. I like, bet salty towards them and like yeah it was awesome. great so we get, Cindy. yeah we get one question out of the way I hate how I don't know if you've noticed like if, how like caught up you are Greg but like pretty much every HOH is a cliffhanger this season like you never oh, yeah. get out of an episode knowing who's HOH like you always have to go to the feeds and everyone's like why are we bothering oh, yeah. to watch no, episodes I, I, I love just get, catching up on the spoilers I just follow it on Twitter now just have all you guys <laughs> like and just read what you guys say it's, it's, it's a great way to follow the show for sure 
Exactly. Well, so another now... person, another person who follows the show and is a fan of yours and ours is Mr. AJ the Artist. You got to give a shout out to him. Yes. AJ the he Artist. He always up? watches our show and he always tweets out that he's in the yes. studio watching our show. So awesome, AJ the, AJ the Artist. What's going on? <laughs> he is awesome. You need we to ask him. us some questions, AJ. Like, if you guys have questions for for Greg, um, tweet yeah. us hashtag Why Are Our Lives. If you're in the YouTube room, um, you can write them in there. We'll get them. So yeah, like it's now. I don't know. Spoiler, spoiler. Kevin is the new HOH. It came down to him and Zach. I really think he's gonna try and backdoor someone. I know. I know. I know Kevin. I know. I. I. I he's really gonna try and backdoor one of these big players. I got a good feeling. Uh, if not, he'll get Bobby out of the house. Who. Who to me is like a strong player. He, I don't think Bobby's got capabilities of winning the game, but um, he is. He is strong in comps. If they can get Bobby out or one of those other guys, Zach, Bruno. Um, that's just with the first eviction. Remember, that's like. There's gonna be like. This is gonna be an. Epic, epic week in this show, man. Um, three people are, are going to be out. Um, if two of the three are very strong players, this house is going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to the game. The total game is totally going to change here after this triple eviction. It's, it's going to be what awesome do you to watch. Think Bruno's chances of surviving this are. Uh, I don't know, man. It doesn't seem good, does it? I think you've got uh, a big target on him right now, but. I just I don't know. He can probably yeah, get his way out of this. I'm like I'm scared because of this three like these three nominations. Like I think he'll I think he'll get through Kevin's fine. Yeah. It's like in depending on who wins H O H, like at this point, like it's either gonna be diapers or depends that are gonna win yeah. this. Like Yeah. See, gonna... I, don't, I don't I don't know where uh uh, I don't know how they're going to do it. Are they going to do double eviction, instant eviction, or are they going to go single, in, in, you know? In from what I've seen on the website, because you know how, like, Global puts up the, like, you can do your predictions? Mm -hmm. yep. Like, tab one is, like, a regular, like, two nominees, a veto, like, one person evicted. The okay. second tab is three nominees, a veto, two people evicted. Okay, okay. So we'll see well, how it so goes. You yeah. never know. They can say, you know, I mean, that's the thing with this show. You never know what's going to happen. They can I just know. It's it's really scary because Bruno is playing such a good game. Like, yeah. he like yeah. I don't want him. Like, I think him and Kevin right now are the, like, the two that I think. They're I killing kinda, it. I want to win. And, like, I'll, for my girl, my, my pick is Sarah because she's yeah. kind of manipulating everybody. But for I sure, just, she is. But that's and after getting to know Bruno's I family, I, 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 my top four players, I have Sarah in in there included. By I think she, I don't think she's gonna win the game. I don't. I think she's gonna like uh, Ashley and Peely will go farther. People, Bruno's wanted. Bruno has wanted Sarah out since like week two. You know what I mean? Like, and that's mm -hmm. a fact. Um, he he knows her capabilities. Um, he's very very smart. Bruno. He's like a gamer. You know, hiding behind the corner, um, waiting to shoot his gun. That's exactly his personality. And he he's I'm telling you he knows Sarah so um, we'll see maybe like they'll kill off each other how crazy would that be Yeah he um, seems but, to have a good read on everybody in the house so like he seems to have everybody yeah tagged and he's like even when Cindy was trying to be like you need to talk to Bobby you need to talk to Bobby he's like I will but not today yeah. like I don't Yeah I'm not playing I'm not you rushing never want to hear that that means you're out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, I'm not going to rush it because he's like, that's not my style. He's like, you rush it, you talk too soon, then everything blows yeah. up in your face. Like, you yeah. can never have an eviction locked down. Like, Bobby just before. hated Cindy. I saw the clip where he was just running up to her saying that she's out of the house again. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, like, yeah, I'm voting you out. Like, you know, I mean, just, just, <laughs> so speaking of out of the house, who are you closest with? Who do you talk to the most that's out of the uh, house? Since I've been out of the house, it's probably equal. I haven't talked to Johnny uh, too, too much. We've uh, sent a, a few texts back and forth, but mm -hmm. um, I've talked to uh, Naya, Naya quite a bit, and I've talked to Risha quite a bit, and now Cindy, I, Cindy's back you know, in, the, in the house. But I've talked to Risha and Naya via text and via um, uh, Twitter like a, a lot, you know what I mean? So both of those girls, uh, definitely. And uh, the support I've got from like all the former uh, BB Can house guests has been like so like uh, just means so much. The the out, the outreach that they've done um, for myself, Anaya, Johnny, Risha, all of us. 
Um, and just like the support they're all giving us has been awesome. So I've pretty much fucked everyone from last year's cast and uh, creating like new friendships with all of them mm -hmm. is like uh, re really like part of this whole experience. Uh, and it's really amazing what Big Brother does with that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it's like who do you think when you get out, like is, are, is everything that happened in the game going to kind of stay in the Big Brother house when everybody is out and... Uh, I think so. You know, I mean, now, now, now it does. It takes it takes some time, it takes some time, and people like let it go at different times. So, um, but yeah, I think we've just kind of come to the. We're still all obviously like really intensely involved in like what's going on. But uh, I, I can't speak on anyone else's behalf. But I just know that 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 I've let it all go. You know, so. Yeah, like, I mean, that's got to be like a huge like head. Yeah. Head case when you walk out. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, that, like, it's you crazy. go in from Some seeing, people, so. seeing 15 people to seeing like three yeah. or 400 of us sitting in front of you, and you're like, holy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and, like, some people have uh, problems with it. That's, I think, why the Big Brother um, former house guests reach out to all of us because it is very hard for some people to, like, come out of that house. So, uh, oh, yeah. What was yeah, the you're one thing that know what you're going through? So, yeah. Yeah. No, exactly, and like just to get back to the real world, it's uh, it, it's tough for a lot of people, and a lot uh, that that's why they they really reach out, and I can't wait next year to be there for the for the next group that comes out, and and just like kind of like pass the torch on down the line. Uh, that's kind of what this deal is all about, and this continue like a huge family tree of friends. What was the one thing you missed the most that once you got out of the Big Brother house, you were so glad to have out? Yeah, I was bad. I was glad to see my dogs and my family. I was gonna say, I bet it was the dogs because you—that's yeah, the first thing yeah, you like yeah, tweeted was sure. like, "Here are my dogs." <laughs> yeah, it it was good. So yeah, I got to see my dogs and my family, oh. and then uh, just still trying to get back under the routine of a diet. It's so hard. I ate so bad and sequester and and uh, <laughs> and and the, and the house for that matter. It's hard to eat like what you want healthy. Um, so I'm just trying. To, it, that, it's been a challenge for me to get back to like that diet, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just, just food, man. Like good, healthy foods. Will you ever eat healthy. another Twisto? Will you ever eat another Twistos product oh, yeah. in your life? Those were actually really good. The Twistos <laughs> were actually really good, but then they give you like sequester the ones are amazing. Sequester, they just give you like chips and like. We cookies. don't have those in America. We don't. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. I'll I'll send you some, John. Have, have you have guys. to send me some. I, I will. I'm, I will. Next time I'm at the store, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Will they let them over the border? Oh, they're twistos. Well, I, have yeah. to, not, well, I have to declare not them. It's cocaine. It's not cocaine. Like I don't cocaine. know. You know what? I sent a little plastic pop tart container to Tyler in the mail, and you would think I was trying to like <laughs> smuggle some drugs over the border. Yeah. Like, the mail guy was like, too, "What is in here?" Want. You can do that too if you want. <laughs> If, what you do with the Twistos is you get all three bags and then make like a uh, – crumple them all up and then bread your chicken with it. Oh, my God. Yeah, Greg, it's, it's what, so good. What it's can't so you good. do? Do you put a little yeah. – like dip in a little egg and then bread it exactly. and then fry it? You know it. Yeah, we actually dipped it in an egg and then baked it. So we baked it for like 30, 35 minutes and, oh, it was, like it, it was amazing chicken. I'm telling you. Everyone oh, loved it. Who was the best cook in the house? Let's let's get down to brass tacks. Ooh, was I was for sure, by far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Risha, Risha probably had me, and then once she left, I was the best cook in the house. I, I'm confident in saying that. I bet they would all say that too. Uh, Zach was good. Zach, Zach Zach's young, so when he's uh, I'm sure when he's my age, 36, he'll be able to like, you know what I mean? He was really picking up on it, and like he could cook too, but. Uh, who cooks the best? I think it was Sarah, Nadine, probably. Sarah cooked a bit. Uh, Naya baked, you know what I mean? Like in sequester, like it's a totally different story. She was like making chocolates and baking like crazy. Like this cake she made uh, was just so good. You know what I mean? It was it was amazing the stuff that Naya was making in that house chocolate-wise. How shocked were you to learn that she owned a truffle company? Yeah, we didn't know, know any of that. She can make chocolates. Like uh, like I say, she's gangster, man. You want some chocolates? Like she wow. just yep, some, like, you know, triple-A chocolates, no problem. Yeah, Neha. I love chocolate. <laughs> yeah, talk to Ney. And, like, she's right in your area. Like, you all, I always... know. She's, like, right 20 minutes yeah, out of right here, Yeah, <laughs> But, yeah, so, yeah, that – I think that's it for this week. I am so excited to talk to you, Greg. Like, yes. Thank you so much. You're awesome, Greg. You're and awesome, you John. Thank you so much. You. Anytime. Anytime. Oh, man, anytime. 
Anytime you want to come to Burlington and cook for me, yeah, my door is yeah. open. <laughs> we will be at the so finale. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, be at the we'll... finale, so we will be seeing you at the finale yeah. in person. And uh, oh, awesome. I, well, I, well, expect, well. I expect some food. If you are this good of a cook, yeah, all right. All right. All right, I'll bring I'll, you some chicken. How's that? We'll bring yeah, you some I'm always chicken. in Seattle too, John. I'm always coming down there to check out uh, Seattle Mariner games. So if I'm ever around, I'll uh, I'll give you drop you a text. My or I'll partner up. has the hookup. He's a big sports guy. So awesome, let awesome. Me know. Yeah, I got the hookups too. I can get us I can get us tickets as well through like my scouting job. So like we'll use Perfect. our connections. We'll we'll all hang out sometime this summer for sure. We'll love it. I'll bring uh, I'll bring Seattle, JP yeah. or like uh, someone someone for like I know a Willow wants to come to a game. She's not far in Calgary. We'll all get together and we'll we'll definitely hit you up. I want to go to awesome. a game. No, can you do some Toronto no. too? You're not yeah, yeah, we can do Toronto too. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle's just so close, right? I so know. Nice. It's not yeah. Here. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you, and uh, let's. Uh, I'll keep talking to you guys on Twitter. I love talking to you on Twitter every day. Where can we find you on Twitter? I'm at uh, Greg BB. Uh, no, it's BB Can Three Greg G R A I G. Awesome, and there. you can find me at the Goodyear One Nine Seven Five, and, and you can find me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter and everything social media. So, awesome, Bye, guys. Greg, Bye, thanks everybody. so much.